Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Well today I am hosting the Deck and Style collaboration. I've asked some amazing YouTubers to join me in showcasing our decks, patios, or porches and we will style them. So guys, I also asked them to showcase any DIYs that they've done as well as any um, landscape work that they've done. So this is my patio. It is from the top view. And as you see, my patio runs the length of my house. Because of this, I was able to create three different areas. I have an area where you can eat. I have an area where you can conversate. And I also have an area where you can just sit up and have a nice drink and a meal and talk to the cook. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and share with you what I have done. So let's start with my dining area. Now, once you come out the door, this is one of the first areas that you see. And it is a table with four chairs. The seat cushions here were purchased at the end of the season from Lowe's. But the focal point here is this beautiful table. This was a DIY. And it was an old table that I had had for several years. And as you see, it was really rusted. And, and there were places there where I began to spray paint and I changed my mind. But that's okay because there is nothing that a can of spray paint can't fix. So here I'm sharing with you. I chose the color yellow and I'm just going to spray paint my table with several coats of this yellow spray paint. And then once the paint dries, I found a stencil and I'm gonna spray paint the stencil pattern onto this, the top of the dry yellow paint. And we have a brand new creation. Now for this DIY, I'm going to share with you in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. Now on my table, what I have decided to style it with are my fabulous gifted chargers. I've shared these chargers with you before, but they are the palm tree motif, and I love the the finishing on these chargers and so that I can still see the print underneath the charger I decided to use this glass plate if you have a melamine or even plastic plate that would work as well these napkins are some that I already had and this napkin ring is actually a DIY as well and you will see an upcoming video on how easy it is to make that I have my glasses from Tar Target as well as my natural wicker glass sleeves. We can't have a dinner outside and not have to fight the mosquitoes here in Georgia. So that is a, a tea light centronella candle and I have my beverage carrier. Then another area that I have been working on guys is my fence area. Now I have all the landscaping. I just put some pine straw down, but I decided to bring my flowers up and I'm using, utilizing these um, cocoa um, planters to house my flowers and they have been growing beautifully. We've had a lot of rain here and that is exactly what these planters are um, and these flowers have needed and as you see they have begun to cascade down and to bring a little tranquility to the area I have this um, waterfall that my mother gave me a couple of years ago and I plan on doing a upcycle on that and you will see the results of that coming up in an upcoming video as well. So on my patio, I have used a lot of planters and flowers to bring color into the area. But as far as entertaining, I'm bring, using all natural elements. So you see here, I have another caddy with my forks, knives, and spoons in them. I also have this um, um, food tent that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. 
for our salad and I have my natural um, salad hands in there as well as a wicker serving tray. Now I've also created a conversation area and on this little settee I'm using my cushions from Lowe's and I paired them perfectly I think with these five dollar pillows that came from Walmart. Now this is an indoor outdoor mat that I purchased off season last year for five dollars at Lowe's. Can you believe that? I thought that was a great score. And now these two um, chairs I'm using some pillows that I also purchased from the five dollar bin at Walmart. Now this area here is the showstopper I think. It is a grill gazebo. I purchased it earlier this year from Aldi's. Aldi's has some great deals guys especially when you're coming upon the seasons. It was $69 otherwise at other places I've seen them for $120 to $130. Now I paired these with these wicker these faux wicker bar stools that were purchased from Lowe's and they are the perfect height for a dinner for two while Mr. B is on the grill. Now for the place setting, I use these mats that I created earlier last year as a DIY. I'm also using some melamine plates as my charger that also has a palm tree motif along with the glass plate so that I can see my palm tree through the plate and a yellow napkin and um, a napkin ring. And then if we go inside the gazebo, you will see that I am using these um, lights, these grill lights, indoor outdoor lights on the perimeter of the gazebo and it is beautiful at night. So guys, I hope you love my Decton style collaboration. Make sure that you go and visit the other participants who I will list in the description box below. And also leave me a comment below. Let me know how you decked and styled your um, entertaining space this year. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Winning's house. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.